or has to find the partial derivatives of the given functions. The partial derivative with respect to x is a function that gives a slope in the x direction, and the partial derivative with respect to y is a function that gives a slope in the y direction. To determine the partial derivative of f with respect to x, we consider y a constant and differentiate with respect to x. To determine the partial derivative of f with respect to y, we consider x a constant and differentiate with respect to y. So for the first example, we are given f of x comma y equals 1,200 plus 7x minus 3y. To find the partial of f with respect to x, we treat y as a constant and differentiate with respect to x. To begin, the derivative of 1,200 with respect to x is equal to zero. Remember, the derivative of any constant is equal to zero. And then we have plus the derivative of 7x with respect to x, which is seven. And then we have minus the derivative of 3y with respect to x, because we are treating y as a constant, 3y as a constant, and therefore the derivative with respect to x is zero. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to seven. Next, we wanna find the partial of f with respect to y, so we treat x as a constant and differentiate with respect to y. The derivative of 1,200 with respect to y is zero, plus the derivative of 7x with respect to y is also zero, again, because we treat x as a constant, and therefore 7x is also a constant. And then we have minus the derivative of 3y with respect to y, which gives us negative three. The partial of f with respect to y is negative three. Next, we have f of x comma y equals four x to the eighth minus two y to the sixth plus x plus y. We begin by determining the partial of f with respect to x, so we treat y as a constant and differentiate with respect to x. The derivative of four x to the eighth with respect to x is four times eight x to the seventh. And then we have minus the derivative of two y to the sixth with respect to x, because we treat y as a constant, the derivative with respect to x is zero, plus the derivative of x with respect to x, which is one, giving us plus one. And then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to zero, again, because we are treating y as a constant and differentiating with respect to x. And therefore the partial of f with respect to x is equal to 32x to the seventh plus one. Next we wanna find the partial of f with respect to y, so now we treat x as a constant and differentiate with respect to y. The derivative of four x to the eighth with respect to y is equal to zero, again, because we are treating x as a constant. And then we have minus the derivative of two y to the sixth with respect to y, which is equal to negative two times six y to the fifth, plus the derivative of x with respect to y, because we treat x as a constant, the derivative with respect to y is zero, and then plus the derivative of y with respect to y, which is one, giving us plus one. Simplifying, we have negative 12 y to the fifth plus one for the partial with respect to y. For the last example, we have f of x comma y is equal to nine x to the fifth y to the ninth. To find the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate with respect to x, treating y as a constant. And therefore the derivative of nine x to the fifth y to the ninth with respect to x is nine times five x to the fourth, and we still have times y to the ninth because we are treating y as a constant. And therefore the final partial with respect to x is 45 x to the fourth y to the ninth. And now to find the partial of f with respect to y, we treat x as a constant and differentiate with respect to y. The derivative of nine x to the fifth y to the ninth with respect to y is nine x to the fifth times nine y to the eighth, which gives us 81 x to the fifth y to the eighth for the partial of f with respect to y. I hope you found this helpful.